Okay, uh, my name is Mohamed Abouan. I am a lead architect at Ocean Source. Today, I will describe a very small uh, tip. It is how to configure IIS on Windows Server 2008 R2 to work with MC and MS Deploy or Web Deploy. First, as we can see, we will install the Web Server ROL uh, from the Windows Server 2008. Uh, including two role ACB.NET, it must be ex exist so the MVC can work and management server role. This role will be for working with uh, with deployment, uh, install .NET framework for and install with deployment 64-bit uh, course if we are working in 64-bit Windows Server and this is will uh, integrated with the management service role and then start to configure. As we can see now, we will add role. We will choose web server IS. We will add the ASP.NET for MVC and add all required. We will add the management service that we we'll used with MS Deploy. If we open the IIS, we will see here there is no management service delegation. We will go and install the MS Deploy 64 bit. Custom install, of course, and we will choose to install MS Delegation UI. Entire component work from my hard disk. Install the .NET, .NET framework for. I already was installed in the system, but I forgot. So it is already exists. Now when we open the IIS, we will find that management service delegation now exists. We will double click the management service delegation and make sure it allow administrative bypass rule. Management service from here or we can close and management service from here. We will enable remote connection and start the service. We have to look at the port it is as we can see 8172 and it require of course uh, authentication. The service by default not uh, automatic restart so we will go to the web management service and make it automatic or automatic delay as we wish now we'll go and open to test And as we can see, it is secure because it is S. We will find that it represents username and password. 